morning after 10. 36 hours have passed now since the play-in game. Having had some time to reflect on it, what are your further thoughts? But uh, we were in ideal position at half time, and uh, because we scored, we were at 1 1, scored the goal away from home, and after that, uh, uh, all went wrong for us. So I think uh, uh, we looked quite defensively solid in the first half. We lost, uh, I believe, uh, Kosciani in the second half, and after that, we, uh, we lost a bit our structure and our organization, and we're a bit. Uh, naive on uh, on the different goals we conceded, and uh, at three one I felt that uh, were mentally affected by by the result and uh, looked much more vulnerable. What's the latest on Laurent Koscielny? Don't know. Uh, he has a scan today. And in terms of the rest of your team use for the Sutton game, what sort of lineup could we see on the day? Well, uh, normal team. Because in round four, of course. You of Jeff and and Maisie, yes, uh, but uh, I gave a chance uh, just bef because I think they deserve to play and they have a good opportunity to show that uh, they can come in for players who usually play and I think uh, they have done well and they have another, might one or two might have another opportunity to say that uh, he can play uh, in every single game now. Arsenal, thanks very much indeed for your time. 36 hours on from that uh, results. What's your main emotion at the moment? The main emotion is that uh, everybody, have a, after the big disappointment, regroups and focuses on uh, what is in front of us. It's the next game, and uh, that uh, to take care of, uh, of course, the, the consequences a disappointing result can have on everybody's spirit and uh, on everybody inside the club, and uh, to make sure that. Uh, we bounce back and focus on the next game. It's what life is about. I know you like to put things into perspective. Can you put that performance and result into perspective? Is it one of the worst you've experienced? No, I think, uh, you know, we can speak now. Uh, I know that the media like these kind of uh, press conferences, but uh, what is important for us is to focus on our next game and uh, let everybody judge and criticise. We have to deal with that with the media and uh, focus on what is our job. We can analyze with clarity what happened and focus on what is in front of us and take care of uh, what we can influence now is not the last result. We can influence that when you play in Bayern at home, but at the moment we have to focus on what is in uh, of our next game. Straight afterwards you said that you thought that the team looked uh, mentally jaded and, and vulnerable. Do you, do you stick by that? And if so, what can you do about it? Uh, just what I told you, rebuild the uh, confidence and belief in what we think is important in the game. And uh, uh, that means uh, the way we want to play football, the way we want to defend, the way we want to attack, and uh, the way we have uh, to respond together. There are suggestions of uh, a row in, in the dressing room afterwards. Now, you would expect people not to be happy in the dressing mm -hmm. room afterwards, but did it extend into a row? No. No, not at all. Everybody was, of course, deeply disappointed and affected, but there was no incident in the dressing room <coughs> apart from uh, a huge sadness and disappointment. Is the FA Cup now, the, reasonably speaking, the only hope you can win this season? I don't know, but the FA Cup is one of our targets, and uh, it's the next game, you know, and uh, uh, for us to bounce back after the game uh, we had uh, is, of course, is. It becomes a very important game, but it always was in my head. Because obviously you don't play a game in the Premier League until next month. Um, and because it is now maybe more important to, to you in this competition, will it affect your selection? No, I always said in my mind that it was a very important game, Sutton. And uh, I, uh, in my head I have a team who will start and play there uh, for a week or ten days now. So. But the result we had at Bayern München was uh, will not influence that selection. You've given uh, Alexis Sanchez some time off. Could you expand on why and where you think he's gone? Sanchez, some time off. He's been <coughs> flying away somewhere. Well, he has a 
he has a court case at Barcelona and he will be back in training tomorrow. Thank you, Martin. And um, do you feel offended by some of the things you read and, and hear after all you've achieved? No. Why? Because I'm used to it. I'm here for 20 years and uh, uh, I. Uh, I think in life it's important you do what uh, you think is right and all the rest is judgment and judgment. Uh, I'm in a public job and I have to accept that, you know, what I think uh, I have to behave uh, uh, with my values and with the way I see my job and uh, accept that everybody can have an opinion on it. Did you say to anyone this week that you will decide your future in March or April? Yes. Will it be March or April? I don't know. <laughs> if I if I said March or April, it is because I, d I didn't know. Have you spoken to the uh, main shareholder or the chief executive? Uh, every time I have the opportunity, I do. And what's their view on your future? Sorry? What is their view on your future, as far as you understand? I, I uh, do not want to come back on that, you know. I think uh, at the moment we have other, uh, other priorities. Uh, my person, as I said many times, is not important. It's Arsenal Football Club and uh, the future of our team and what we can achieve uh, until the end of the season. That is important. Just find me on this, Arthur. Do you ever feel, because your face the other night, understandably, was a picture. It looked like it was pretty hard for you to take, and I'm sure it was. Do you ever feel like you've, you've had enough? No, you know, no matter what happens, uh, I will manage next season. Is it here or somewhere else? You know, that. Uh, that's absolutely for sure. But uh, uh, on a night like that, of course, uh, I hate defeat and uh, I, I hate to lose games. And I want to do extremely well for this club. And I feel a big responsibility. You do not stay somewhere for 20 years and you walk out of a defeat like that and you whistle, you know. Uh, it is uh, difficult to take. But as well, uh, I have the strength and the experience to respond to that. And uh, yes, sorry. <laughs> I would just like to add as well. We played against a good Bayern team, uh, who has uh, won this competition, and has uh, eleven top-class players. And you have sometimes uh, to give credit to your opponent as well. And uh, I think it's important as well in the competition that uh, when you want to put things into perspective, that uh, there are top-class players. Very different kettle of fish, of course, uh, on Monday. Um, you have a very close relationship with Boreham Wood, who played uh, mm -hmm. Sutton, I think, on the seventh in, in the FA Trophy, beat them 5 0. Yes. I understand you might have been there to, to watch that, is that right? Look, uh, they had the six or seven players that didn't play Sutton, you know, uh, uh, so they didn't play with their regular team, and I think ex as well, I expect a completely different game against us. Uh, it will be uh, the FA Cup, uh, with uh, everybody supporting them, they preparing this game for a long time in their head, uh, uh, with a huge enthusiasm. So you cannot compare that uh, with the game against Bohemwood. But you did go along to watch that game? No, I was not at the game. I was busy on the day. Thank you. Hi, Arsene. Um, do you feel the increased speculation around your future and the intensity of it rising up again uh, on this occasion is, is unhelpful for the club, for the players? Do you feel that perhaps it would be better if some clarity was brought to the situation sooner rather than later? No, I think we have to focus on uh, real problems, you know, and uh, real problems are uh, the way we play football and not uh, uh, my future. My uh, The priorities are how we respond to a defeat and how we, we play uh, together. That's what it is to be professional. It's always important not to look for wrong excuses in life and to focus on what is important, what you can influence and what is your job. You've always taken the criticism uh, that the fans, when they go home, are happy very personally. Um, the criticism is, is sort of reaching new heights with, with growing sections of the support base feeling seemingly that it is time for you to move on. How Maybe, you know, uh, that's... that's uh, an eternal debate when you are somewhere for a long time and you have a big disappointment. But uh, uh, even if I go, Arsenal will not win every single game uh, in the future. You know, that's uh, part of it. You have to accept that uh, 
as much as it hurts to lose games. Uh, uh, as much, uh, if you look at the history of Arsenal, Arsenal had less Champions League game when I arrived than I had in my in my career already. So, and since we have done a few, so I hope that uh, in the future we can win this trophy or Arsenal can win this trophy. But uh, it's not like uh, before I arrived, Arsenal has won five times the European Cup. They've never won it, you know. And uh, they played maybe ten games in the whole history of the club. So you have as well to take into perspective uh, some demands. And with that in mind, and what you've seen at a club like Manchester United, who went through transition, it, do people have to be careful what they wish for in that sense? No, you know, I, uh, you have to. Uh, I think what is important is that the club makes the right decisions uh, for the future. And uh, I did not work here for 20 years to uh, not to care about this club, you know, and because I had many opportunities to go somewhere else during that period. And uh, I care about this club and I care about its future and I think uh, it is very important that uh, the club is always in safe hands. Is it me or somebody else? What I'm sure it will be. On that, is it going to be your decision or the club's or a mutual decision? I do not want to continue to talk about that now. I think uh, that chapter is closed and uh, we have to uh, focus on what is important. <coughs> Just finally from me, this... Um, position that Arsenal are in now is, is a familiar one. These sort of questions have been familiar over the last six or seven years. Is there anything underlying that's going wrong here that you, you have identified? This Look, as, as long as uh, you do not win absolutely everything, uh, there's always something wrong, you know, and you have to accept that because you want always to go to the next level. On the other hand, in the last 20 years in Europe, only three clubs manage to play every year in the Champions League, and it's Arsenal, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid and nobody else. So that means uh, if uh, everything is not perfect, uh, not all is wrong, you know, and uh, uh, we have to accept that as well. And it will be difficult again this year because it's a fight at the top level where we have to focus on what really is important now is uh, the quality of our performances and the quality of our games. Thank you very much. <coughs> we take the microphones out, please. That's it.